foundational color. From here, my first thing is where do I start? I want to begin with us, us as believers. Because all of us are part of the body of Christ, all of us. So this here is symbolic for us. And we have three parts. We are the first one, the most obvious one is body. We have a body, and our body has biological things like like atoms and we have DNA, we have a nervous system, we have blood coming through our veins. So all these things here will represent us, our body. We also have a soul. A soul. We are living souls. Our soul is going to be over here. And our soul is basically our emotions. How we feel, how we feel. Like there was a time when someone said, if you didn't have a body, physical body, who would you be? You would, if you can't see yourself, who would you be? You would be the soul. The, 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 your personality, your laughter. If you meet someone, if you were blind, and you would meet them and say, hi, how are you doing? You would be so, so that's a small representation of who we are from an artistic perspective. Okay? I'm going to read the Bible from my inspiration is the salvation, my high tower. Praise God. From, from that scripture, we notice that why would we need a high tower? Why would we need protection? Why do we need uh, strength? And, and the main reason why we need it is because all of us, since the day that we decided to become a spiritual being, Join God's army. Join God's camp. And the enemy, the devil, he's on the other side of the camp, not wanting us to do the things of the Lord. So, the enemy attacks us, obviously. And I'm going to show you two different ways the enemy attacks. Um, one of them is the most obvious ones. And I'm just going to read a little list of the most obvious attacks that you guys might have experienced. Uh, and it, some of them are like these. Uh, love, greed, drugs, sickness, rebellion, mischief, anger, hatred, calamities, false doctrine, confusion, uh, you know, unbelief. And all these attacks are designed to discourage your faith. To cause you to somehow rebel and say, nah, there is no God. So over here is where I'm going to paint. And then some of them, like sickness, comes in the form of the enemy putting some sickness on us and saying, like Job, the painting of Job, go ahead, renounce God. God has forgotten about you. He doesn't care about you anymore. Look at you, you're sick, you're this, you're that, you're going blind. And the Bible tells us not to believe the lies. But to continue in the faith, regardless of what our body goes through. So here's a little symbolic of some of the attacks coming in from the devil. And then some of them, the Bible says they're like spears, they're like arrows going, like arrows attacking you this way. Another form of uh, attacks from the Bible, I mean from the devil is some that we're not that familiar with. I'm going to read some of the ones that are a little more sneakier. We have what I call hope. the white area of years. No matter how difficult it is, we have a window, which I call hope, a little window to look out. And God is going to go through there. Okay? I'm going to continue going back to Scripture. It also says back to the Psalm. 144 it says blessed be the Lord my rock who trains my hands for war my fingers for battle my goodness for my fortress 
my high tower, my deliverer, my shield, and, and him. These are the things that sometimes happen inside of us when we're feeling lonely, when we're feeling fear, when we're feeling like our children have left us and forgot about us. And we, we, and we don't even remember that that's also an attack from the enemy. So on this side over here are the attacks that are a little bit more subtle. And the attacks that are more subtle are not as are not as evident, like they're not as showy. They're a little more and I, I usually put them in a geometric form because sometimes they make you feel like you're boxed in. Like depression. In the, in the spiritual realm, if you ever go to a Christian bookstore, the books that are the most sellers in the Christian bookstores are the self-help books. The books that deal with these kind of problems. Like fear, anxiety, and loneliness, and depression. Because this is something that we're not really ready to handle at a certain time because the emotions get so tense. The enemy takes advantage of that. And that taxes all of the other people. They cut you off the road while you're driving. And right away, your anger rises up and you say, Oh man, why is this guy bothering me? And you start feeling trapped. Boxed in. Well, the covenant or the protection, you see where the enemy is coming. We pray, but we need God's help. We need God's protection. So the scriptures tell us that God helps us with this here. This is the hedge of protection. Covers us, the church, and its main reason why it has a covering. I'm going to blue because the blue is like water. And the reason why he gives us a covering is not just because we deserve it, because we're in anybody in the but he gives us a head of protection. Because that's, that's his contract. He wrote a contract with us. It's called the covenant. In the Old Testament, the covenant was with God and the people of Israel. But that covenant was broken because the people of Israel would constantly fall away.